Okay, now we have we have designed our branch line coupler. Now we have to test it. Okay, so uh, if you have come to the uh, physical lab session, uh, you would be able to learn that. Hmm? Okay, if we have a device, if we have any device, let's say two port network. Okay. <clears throat> So uh, we can uh, we can check this uh, two port network using the network analyzer. Okay, so we have a network analyzer that is actually vector network analyzer. Using the vector network analyzer, we can test this uh, component. Okay, so <clears throat> we can connect the cable of the network analyzer to uh, to this uh, two port and then we can measure s11 s21 s12 and s22 these parameters we can measure okay so to connect the component with the uh, vector network analyzer we have to use some kind of connectors okay some kind of connector so if you have come to the lab, you can see uh, you, you can see that. Okay. So we are using several connectors. Okay. For example, you can see that in uh, signal generators, we have uh, in signal generators, normally we have BNC connectors. Okay. BNC connectors. So BNC connector can be 75 ohm or 50 ohm um, connectors, match connectors. Okay design signal generators okay and in network analyzer we have sma connectors sma connectors okay uh, so if you have i think you you may i didn't you you know this type of connectors okay these are electrical connectors bnc connector sma connectors uh, those are uh, physical connectors used for coaxial cables okay so uh, uh, so this is a SMA connector. We have SMA connector in VA, VNA. Okay. So if you want to uh, want to connect the VNA to the, uh, if you want to connect any component to the VNA, in the component also you should have a uh, SMA connector. Okay. So if you want to connect it to the uh, to the signal generator, if BNC connector is there, it will be preferred. But normally for the micro strip uh, line, okay, micro strip board, we are using uh, SMA connectors, okay. So if this is 75 ohm, we have to do a matching, okay, to feed this 75 ohm to 50 ohm connector, okay. Uh, so these are these uh, these uh, these are supposed to discuss in uh, lab uh, lab one, okay, in our physical lab, okay. So now I'm not going to discuss them, okay? So here <clears throat> we have a branch line coupler. coupler. It is a four-port device, okay, four-port device. So this is our branch line coupler, okay? So it is four-port uh, four device, you already know that, okay? So here you have four-port, okay? Here you have four-port. So this four port, you have to connect the SMA connectors. Okay, you have to connect the SMA connectors. Okay, like this. Okay. Okay, and uh, th this is the line. Line. Okay. So the uh, so this 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 transmission line we connected to the line uh, terminal, and the outer terminal we will connect it to the ground, which is inside this which is here no after the substrate we can we, we have our ground plate so we can connect it to it here okay so if i if i take the side look it is like this we have this semi connector like this okay and here <clears throat> we have the ground plane and then we have the substrate okay and here we have our transmission line so the semi connector a line should be connected to the transmission line and ground should be connected to this ground plane. Okay. 
so we can connect we can <coughs> solve this kind uh, we can call this kind of connector connectors to the board then we can <coughs> uh, we can feed any signal through that connectors okay so we have to connect we have to solve the connector here sma connector here also and also here and also here <coughs> okay so vna can use to check only uh, two parameters okay so uh, if you want to check the uh, s parameters between these two lines okay you have to connect the vna here and if you want to check <coughs> the uh, s parameters within this line you have to connect with this uh, section okay with this section so you, you have to connect the network analyzer vector network analyzer with this uh, within this terminal okay so you have to do it in uh, two step first you have to you have to connect the vna here to this port one and two then you can measure s11 s21 s12 s31 so on then you can connect the network analyzer here then you can connect s43 s34 s33 s44 okay so if you want to measure the s13 parameters and s31 you have to connect the network analyzer between these two ports okay you have to connect the network analyzer between these two ports if you want to check s42 s24 s44 s22 parameter then you have to connect the network analyzer between this and this okay so likewise you can you can calculate all related s parameters okay with the four port network we have 16 x parameters s parameters 16 no with the four port network we have 16 here 16 s parameters okay uh, so uh, this is uh, how we are doing it in practical but now in hfss we have we are not going to do likewise okay uh, what we are doing is okay what we are doing is uh, we are uh, giving a excitation using the lump port okay so uh, <clears throat> so if you want to uh, if you want to know more details about this lump port, you can refer the, uh, this is the HFSS online help, okay? So you can use this help guide, okay? And if you put here, if you, if you connect, yeah, if you, if you type here, uh, what is that lump port? Okay, so you can find. Okay, so this is a lump port. Okay, then you can find the uh, uh, find the more details about the lump port. Okay, so now we are going to give excitation. Excitation means uh, so uh, using a signal generator, we are given a sine wave here. Okay, how sine waves are, are generated? Okay, they are generating. Uh, because of uh, sometime uh, we can we can generate a sine wave using the electron elect, electron excitation okay if we excite the electron in this way okay in this way if we excite the electron here and here okay in this way so it will create a uh, magnetic field because of this oscillation and also it will create electric field okay so uh, this oscillation will create the oscillation magnetic field that magnetic field field will cre create the oscillation electric field and again uh, this oscillation electric field will generate again a oscillation magnetic field likewise this uh, so by giving an excitation you can you can uh, make oscillating H and E field. So that means you can make the electromagnetic 
field. Okay, so it goes to propagate the electromagnetic wave. Okay, so that is the very basic explanation. Okay, so now we are going to give uh, excitation using lump form. Okay, so this is the procedure. Okay, so this is the procedure. Okay, so you can see that this is our uh, uh, what one. Okay, so what one is rectangle four. No? This is rectangle four. That is port one. Okay, so before uh, before giving the excitation. Okay, uh, so you can see that uh, only solid lines are uh, solid lines are assigned with the material. Okay, so we have to assign. Uh, the material for this copper also copper part but uh, you can see you have already know that we can't assign the material here we can define the mount boundary okay so i am going to define the boundary for this rectangle one that is our ground plane now okay so i right click here sorry i right click here i right click here assign a boundary and i as perfectly so it, it is our infinite bound plane no? okay so i have uh, create one boundary okay so these boundaries are here so it is one boundary and also we have one assigned uh, one okay and that is this rectangle okay so i assign the boundary for that one also that is perfectly and it is not a ground plane okay so I have assigned the boundary here for this strip also. Okay. So I think now we have we have assigned all uh, we have assigned the material and boundaries for all the sheet and solid object. Okay. There is no any unassigned uh, term here. Okay. 